Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to access our pen drive or any other drive like C drive, D drive or E drive from within the Windows subsystem for Linux. So first we are going to learn how we can access the local drives that are already in the system like C drive or D drive. To access any of the drives you need to look into the slash mnt directory and you can see the list of all the drives here. So in my case there is only C drive. So if you have D drive and E drive also you will see the entire list here. Now let us suppose that I want to copy the variable dot sh file from within this windows subsystem for Linux to the desktop here. Alright. So what I will do I will use the copy command. What I want to copy is variable dot sh where on the desktop. Now the exact location for desktop is what? It is inside the C drive actually. So C users then whatever user you are logged in and then you will find desktop. So what I can do is slash mnt. Why I am doing slash mnt? Because my C drive is actually in the mnt folder. And now the exact location for the desktop. So that will be users. Then the username which you have logged in. So in my case the username is this and then desktop. So that's it. The cop file is copied. So we can see the variable dot sh file here on the desktop. So it is going to have the same content. And you can see this content. The same content will be here also the file which we have copied. So you can see the exact same content. right? Now in the same way if I want to copy some content from my windows into the subsystem for Linux then I can use again copy and this time I am going to reverse the locations. Now the second thing is how to access the contents of your pen drive from within the windows subsystem for Linux. To do this we need to know what is the name of the pen drive that is assigned by windows. So the name of the pen drive you can easily know whenever you plug in your pen drive you go to the file explorer and then you will be able to see what name is given to the pen drive like in this case the pen drive name is E and this is the content of the pen drive right but this I can see on the graphical interface but not on the Linux interface or the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now how to do it it's pretty simple you need to mount your pen drive into the subsystem for Linux. The mount point means the location where you will be able to see the contents of the pen drive. So it will be nothing but just a directory that you will make within your windows subsystem for Linux. Okay. So now within this Ubuntu what I can do is I can either treat one of the existing directories as the mount point or I can create another one also. So let's create another directory. Let's suppose the name is pen. Okay. Now I'm going to mount the pen drive here within the directory pen. Just to show you that currently there's nothing inside the pen directory. Okay. So now you need to use the command mount minus T D R V F S and then you need to give the name of the pen drive. So in this in my case the name is E. So E where you want to mount. I want to mount it you write the exact location so the exact location is what pen okay so just remember that you need to be root to execute this command so what we can do is we can use sudo here and now it is successful now your pen drive is mounted on the pen directory within the current working directory so now if I view the contents of pen I am able to see all the contents of the pen drive. So you can see these exact contents on the graphical interface also. So you can see this. Now your pen drive is accessible to you within your Linux. So if you want to create a new file or you want to delete the existing contents you can do it here itself without going into the graphical interface. So we are able to see the contents in the pen directory. What we can do is we can move into the pen directory. All right, this is the existing content. Now, if I let us post create a new file here with the name new file, new underscore file. 
now this new underscore file is created and if I show you the graphical interface refresh this we can see new underscore file in the graphical interface itself right if I delete it in the graphical interface yes and I refresh the contents here also ls so you can see that the entry for new file is not there now okay so whatever you do on one interface it will be reflected in the other interface also so now you can easily copy whatever contents you want either from the pen drive or to the pen drive from within your linux so i hope that now you will be able to access either your pen drive or your other drives like c drive or d drive or any other external drive from within your Linux. Thank you.